Hey guys, Danny Moon here. Y'all call me what you want as long as it's respectful. I was just about to not do this video, but this is for the collective, for anybody who's watching. Um, and this is going to be short. <laughs> this is going to be a short video, okay, spirit? Um, okay, so I did a lot of meditation from this morning up until now. And um, and it was chopped up. I did some in the park, and then I did some here in my altar. Um, so some of the things that Spirit gave me was the divine source, your source, your God, hears your prayers. There are so many prayers going up, and that's, that's a normal thing. People pray every day. It's not a collective, only a collect. It's a prayer thing. But some people feel like, can you hear me? Like, are you listening to me, God? Like, and I want you to know, when they showed me, like, people like this praying hands. You see my statue of my praying hands? Um, and they showed me all the prayers going up. And how they're collecting the prayers, they're listening to the prayers, they're answering the prayers, they're working behind the scenes, and they want everyone to be patient. <clears throat> be patient. Everybody's prayers are being heard. Um, and I want to say answered, because why would they show me that, you know? Another big thing they showed me was loss or grief. Um, and it doesn't have to be like you lost someone yesterday. This could, you could have lost somebody 20 years ago. But they was giving me that you might have a picture of them on your altar or in your wallet, on your wall. Um, and they're with you. They're standing right behind you, right beside you. They are with you and they're proud of you and... They can hear you, they walk with you, they pray with you, they hear your prayers, they hear your sorrow, your your pain. Um, I don't know who that goes out to. I don't, I'm sure it doesn't go out to everyone, but a lot of people have grief in their life, but they want you to know they're with you. Um, synchronicities, all these numbers... They look at it, it's 1 11 right now on the clock. I love it. Thank you, Spirit. I love how Spirit works. Synchronicities is a big thing, y'all. You have to, and you don't have to look for them, they'll come to you. They will come just like it came to me. You see the time right here? 1 11. I don't know if you can see it, but um, they want you to know you're on the right path. You're on the right track. Thank you so much, Spirit. I really needed to hear that message. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, they want you to clear. They want me and you to clear out the worry. Um, because worry is almost like blocking them from doing their job. Your spirit guides, the divine, your source, your God, your guardian angels. It's not stopping them, but it, it is slowing their energy like when they give us energy or they trying to change our thought pattern or they try to direct us in another path it kind of is like a blockage just like a big bolt right in front of it so they're saying like try your best to get the the worry out and the faith in and before you say like oh i got faith obviously they're trying to say it's about consistency and being strong in your faith and having a knowing, like that knowing, um, the knowing inside of your heart. The heart chakra was a big message too. Like I want to pick up the cards, but they're just giving, they know that this is a short video because I got to get ready for work. Um, but the heart chakra was a big thing. Gratitude was a big thing. Um... I, I don't really want to go into, like, what is gratitude and what is thankfulness. All I can tell you is you got to sit in what you have right now. Like, sit in the moment. Say if you don't have a dollar and you only got a quarter. You got to be grateful, like, from within, like, with all your might. Like, thank you so much for this quarter. You know what I mean? Thank you so much for this penny. Like, the gratitude is a deeper thing than just saying thank you. That's as much as I could say on that um i did when i went to the park i touched a tree and i saw the 
transfer of energy between the tree and myself um so get out in nature walk a big another big message was uh working out routine like that's two different things they want you they as in your spirit team god so us whoever you want to call wants you to get on a, a a workout plan then the workout doesn't have to be and one and two it doesn't have to be that it could just be walking in the park but it has to be a, a thing that you do a spiritual thing that you do every morning or every night or every afternoon you pick and choose your time whether it's five minutes ten minutes twenty minutes you pick it, but stick to it and be consistent. Consistency is another big message that I'm getting right now. Consistency is the path. You know what I mean? Having an idea, holding on to it, planting the seed, and continuing to work on it. Even if it's baby steps, whatever it is. Um, the, I got a lot of um, praying or looking over grandchildren, a grandson or grandsons, but grandchildren or daughters, grandsons, everybody. I got a lot of that. Um, I did get the brain and like, uh, I don't know if I really don't know. And spirit, you could chime in at this point. They was giving me something, water on the brain, tumor on the brain, something on the brain. And now if you had someone who passed from that, then, or if you know someone with that, or anything that's has stemming with the brain, with something on the brain, these messages are for you. I was just hearing what they're telling me, y'all. They, they're showing me like... I feel like they're saying, like, the path is the path. The path is the path. Like, like they're laying the path out. The, it's divine timing. These are the things that are happening or happened or has to happen. Like, you see how my hand is just like, it's divine. It's divine. Stop worrying. Everything is going to be all right. Everything is in the divine's hand. They are working behind the scenes. Lots of ancestors. Look up at the clouds. See if you can get messages from the sky, the clouds, the stars, whatever. You know, tonight. Oh, yeah, tonight is the new moon I'm in Virgo. Um, so, please. Very powerful moon. That's another thing they kept. And when I was in the park meditating, they kept saying like, this is the time. This, now, everybody's situation is different. This is the time for us to build on our magic. And and then you we say, build what? You know, our magic is our energy. So what is your thing? Are you trying to get a new job? Are you trying to take a different path? Are you trying to move? Uh, move? Are you trying to uh, rekindle something with a parent or something with a cousin or even something with a spouse? What are you trying to do? What energy, good energy, which is your magic, what are you putting out there? You know, it's a new moon, so a new start, a new thing to try to... Um, develop see what you sit meditate see what your higher self what source what your spiritual team is telling you and guiding you where to go to start this new thing you and it's a build-up y'all it's not like a full moon a new moon is a build-up to get ready for to journal what do you want what do you want to do what are you trying to build in any situation <clears throat> Um, even if you don't have a partner and you're lonely, cause I'm getting that too, build on how you can be centered within yourself, how you can be okay with just being by yourself, like loving yourself, coming back to one. That was a big message too in the park, being centered, coming back to your core, being back to one. So take it how it resonates for you. Um... Yes, now they're throwing at me like uh, there's going to be some travel and, and, and stuff in the works like that. Um, and I don't mean to say it like that. I just feel like there's bigger messages that spirit is trying to get across. Oh, and back to synchronicities because they made me again. Look at the time. It's 118. Um, um, and like my number is 808. 
818 is a big number for me. 111. All these numbers, 222-555-333. You name it. If they're showing it to you, they're, they're telling you, one, that you're on the right path, and two, what are you thinking about when you see these numbers? Five minutes before, five minutes after, or during, what are you seeing? Um, and, and, and go with that. Go with that. Consistency, baby steps, remember these things. Um... All right, spirit. Um, six of the the cards that came to my third eye was the six of pentacles, um, and you know that's a give or take card. That's a give or take energy. Um, um, uh, the ace of swords, which is communication, lots of thinking and conversation, heavy duty conversations. Um. Oh, and the Ace of Swords is a breakthrough, something happening for you, you know, whether big or small. Um, oh, the Queen of Wands and the King of Pentacles. These are the things, the cards that came to me. Um, Spirit, talk to me. What do you want the collective to know for this new moon? Let's just put it for that, for the new moon. Wow, thank you, Spirit. The first one that came out was Seven of Swords. This is the seat. Seven of... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. This is Five of Swords. Five of Swords. And personally, Five of Swords and Seven of Swords are like cousins or sisters and brothers. Um, five of Swords, it depends on your situation. The good part of Five of Swords is some people feel like they're recla reclaiming their power. You're not going to step on me no more. You're not going to push my buttons. I'm not going to let you do this. I'm not going to go over the top. I'm not screaming at you. Like, uh, people are reclaiming who they are and their power when it comes to other situations and other people. And when it comes to them, they're starting to reclaim their power and know who they are. So that's one part of Five of Swords. The other part of Five of Swords is like pushing away people who are trying to um, help you. Throwing them under the bus because you're right. Wanting the truth to come out. You know, you, I have to be right about something. And sometimes you don't always have to be right. Or if you are right, sometimes only you and God has to know that. You and your higher self. You and Source. You and your divine team has to know you're right. It's going to come out at some point. Like it doesn't have to be like... I have to show the world because then you making it bigger. You making it the picture about you. You're making it about you. So watch yourself if that's your situation. Um, the hanged one, um, feeling stuck, you know, um, feeling stuck, but be still being enlightened. I like this card because at some point you're going to get off this tree. At some point, you're gonna feel like you can move. That you're gonna you're gonna feel like you can open up that business. You can, um, you can go further on your path without all this help that you think you need. You know what I mean? And that that is why the hanged man is enlightened because spirit, source, God, whatever you want to call it, they're trying to say no matter where you are in life, whether you stuck on a tree, stuck on your path. We are going to continue to enlighten you. We're going to continue to show you the way. We're going to continue to do what we have to do. Talking about the divine, your spiritual team. They are going to continue to do what they have to do for you. You are protected. But it is a 50-50 thing. You're going to have to take some action and move. You understand what I'm saying? Another thing about the hangman is that sometimes you got to take a different perspective on things, on life. You, you got to look at things differently sometimes. You got to look at things out of other people's shoes, other people's eyes. You know what I mean? You got to get a different angle on things. And then it might you might get some clarity from that. Um... The lovers in reverse. So the lovers, I feel like the lovers in reverse could be like a not a really good relationship right now. Um, it could be conflict with a partner. It could be unsurety. But the lovers upright is about making a choice. You know what I mean? W what you waiting for? Why are you stuck? Two stuck cards. 
two stuck cards. You know, why do you, first you got to ask yourself, why do I feel stuck? What's happening? What's going on that's making me feel stuck? Do I feel committed to this relationship? And it doesn't have to be like a, a boom, boom relationship. It could be a relationship in a job, a relationship with a family member. It could be a relationship with yourself. But you still got to take accountability. And, and accountability is starting with yourself. Why do I feel stuck? You know what I mean? So you got to work with that first. And then you got to take baby steps on, okay, I feel stuck because blah, blah, blah. Why is this? Blah, blah, blah. It all starts with you. <clears throat> and then look at that. Over here was the sun card. So spirit is trying to tell you everything is going to be okay. But we have to take action. We have to take action, and we have to first take action with ourselves. The Hierophant is about our spirituality. You know what I mean? The high, And our spirituality is what? Is ourselves, our source within us, our highest self. So we have to start somewhere, and I think that would be a great place, okay? The Hierophant is also about, like, schooling and structure, you know what I mean? Uh, traditional beliefs. So if any of that fits your situation, spirit is saying, embrace it. Move forward on your path because that was the message in the park was you are divinely guided, but stop stopping yourself. Okay. <clears throat> the emperor structure determination. Um, and this card always reminds me of the chariot for some reason. So I do feel like things will go really quickly for you once you start, once you notice that. Once you notice, okay, I'm working with these energies. It's a new moon coming in. I'm going to start the journal. I'm going to build on something. So by the time January come, I'll be where I need to be or at least starting to go where I need to go. When you start saying these things and taking a different perspective on things, the energies will align with you and it, they'll be working with you, not against you. Okay, the emperor is someone who gives advice, someone who is there with a discerning heart. I love it. I love it. I love it. I don't know why Virgo and Taurus came to me. I just did a Taurus video and it was off the chain, Tauruses. Um, oh, look at that. I told you I saw the queen of wands in my third eye. Spirit is saying, be this go-getter. Embrace, embody this energy. You, and and don't stop being worried or scared. You know what I mean? Um, do more than what you're doing. Now, spirit is not knocking you for what you're doing because another thing I saw in the part in, part in my meditation with the collective, it was like light beings and they kept saying light beings and everybody was like hovering and it was these light beings and everyone was holding hands. But at some point they let hands go and they put their hands on their heart. They were saying, put some of this energy that you're putting into like the world and the planets and the plants and your backyard and into your kids and into this relationship. Put some of that energy into you. Okay. That's what the queen of wands does. She has like a self-confidence. She places all of that big energy within herself. And that gives her the motivation to push forward, to go for her goals, to go for her dreams, to save that money, to, to make a budget, you know, to do certain things that she needs to do that will progress her on her path. <clears throat> Page of Pentacles. I talked to you about planting seeds. Page of Pentacles is an opportunity, but the opportunity is here because you must have planted the seed somewhere. Like either you told somebody, oh, you do you know of a job? And that was planting a seed. Or you planted the seed within you with your prayers. God, please send me this job. Thank you so much in advance. You ain't get it yet, but you're saying thank you. Thank you in advance for this new opportunity, this seed that I'm planting you are sowing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love this. I love that. Mm, 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 mm. 
meditation for a swords is about meditating you see how she's laying there she or he is laying there and they're thinking contemplating seeing what their next move is all of that is great but spirit does want you to let go for a minute stop thinking for a minute and i know it's not easy for people to clear their mind but spirit is saying hold on to something good when you meditate grab on to that favorite place you've been that loving feeling you've been that you felt grab on the gratitude and just hold it there in your mind you know what i mean and work with those energies for a moment um six of cups six of cups is the past six of cups is happiness six of cups is um whatever you want six of cups to be what are you creating here what was or what is going to be that was all a channeled message because I usually tell you the past is the past and let it go. You know what I mean? But but that is what spirit is saying. Six of Cups is happiness. Are you going to hold on to it and move forward? Or are you going to hold on to it and move backwards? Like, what are you going to do with this Six of Cups? Okay? And this is giving me big, heavy children vibes. Maybe it's time for us, even if your child is young, seven, eight, two, three, you go and tell them thank you. Give them some appreciation for being here. Tell them, like, I love you and thank you for brightening up my day. I, I just want you to tell your children that, no matter what age they are. I'm seeing again, just like in the Taurus video, I think that was all these rainbows and these cards. The the gold, the the cup of gold, the pot of gold is waiting for us. It's right there. It's right there. Some of us gotta be patient, and some of us gotta be this queen of wands and go get it. Six of Pentacles. Then I tell you, I saw that too. Give or take, and it's not always a. You don't always have to say give or take. Six of Pentacles, I feel, starts within you. Because you got to say to yourself, who needs today? First, I need. I need. Let me meditate. Let me go to the park. Let me work out. and Let me get my energy right. And then I can give to the homeless. Or I can give advice to a friend. Or I can, I can teach someone something. Not preach, but teach somebody something. Let me do that. And, and let the universe flood my body. Flood my soul. You know what I mean? That's what I'm all I'm getting off of the Six of Pentacles. It starts with you. Giving to you. I love that. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. I love my spirit guides, my spiritual team, my grandma. Like, I love you all. Thank you so much for being here and supporting me. Um, the King of Pentacles. Didn't I say I saw this in my meditation? I saw this in my meditation. I told you the Queen of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. And I think I might have mentioned something else, too. Um, again, with structure. Structure is on the board. You got to ask yourself, do I have any, do I have structure in my life or is my life chaotic? And then if it is chaotic, you got to say, is my car clean? Is my room clean? Is my kitchen clean? Is, is things in my external world, is, are, is it chaotic? Because if it's chaotic outside, it's going to be chaotic inside, okay? And the King of Pentacles is about old money. It's about being structured. You know what I mean? This person is on a path saving money and building their money and their interests and their um, investments and things of that nature. And even if this is not you right now, this could be come, you, come January. This could be you come January. But you just got to be stern with yourself right now. That could be saving $5 a paycheck, $20 a paycheck, but you got to be consistent with it, okay? More Taurus and Virgo um, and Gemini on the board energy I'm feeling. Even if it's not before you tarot people get me, I'm not saying the King of Pentacles is any of that, but I'm, I'm feeling the energy of Gemini, Taurus, and Virgos on the board, okay? <clears throat> Oh, that, I, I'm just, uh, uh, sorry. 
this is the three of pentacles the three of pentacles is about expansion it's about new energy coming in it's about building a house buying a house thinking about buying a house it's about a new job rolling your way with new people new energy it could be a new department it's leveling up some type of way i love this you know what i'm saying but i stopped on this card because the three of cups was a big thing in the message too about and the three of cups is about family friends and celebration and on the bad part it's about a third party so if you have that feeling of a third party you are on point um but it was more about like celebration and happy and things like that the 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 you know energy is fluid the message slipped out of my mind right now but the three of cups was a really big deal in my meditation okay community coming together that's what that was about Oof! thank you spirit put it right back in my head so i don't know how that resonates with you but like in the oracle deck we have the community card which is like the three of cups in a tarot deck so whatever community means to you go with it sit with it meditate with it and do something about it you know what i'm saying and remember it's all in good intention the three of cups and the three of pentacles these are really good cards so three might be your number three 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 might be your number 13 might be your number <clears throat> um please eat right that was another that wasn't a such a big uh, message working out was more of a big message but eating right was uh, um eating right was definitely a message in my morning um meditation and the part and it was about your body is your temple like cleaning it out decluttering detoxing <clears throat> and you know what y'all i know a lot of these uh videos i do i say a lot of the same things but remember, these are channeled messages. Spirit is always going to tell you the same thing if it's going to uh, grow your path or if, if it's going to help your health. Spirit is always going to say the same thing. So I'm just letting you know. I'm not one of those tarots that's going to come up here and try to like talk some type of lingo. I'm giving you the messages that Spirit gave me. <clears throat> Can I get two more? And then um, I got to go. I got to go. I got to get dressed. Two more, please, Spirit. Thank you. Nine of Wands. Yes. And Nine of Wands right now, I don't know if you see how it's laying, but it's kind of in reverse. It was like this. You know what I mean? Nine of Wands is about pushing, perseverance, pushing through, keep going. You see that moon? Tonight's moon, you might you might not be able to see it because the because the moon hides itself sometimes with the new moon, you know. But it's there; the energy is there. So you have to do not give up because it came in reverse. Do not give up on whatever your situation is. Do not give up on it. Now, if it's a bad situation, if it's a relationship you shouldn't be in, or if it's something like that, of course, use your resources. You know, meaning conversate, talk to a, 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 your pastor, or you know, do what you have to do. But if you did everything, then it's time for you to walk away and do for yourself, okay? But do not give up on you. <clears throat> Finances was a big thing too, y'all. Um, you, you, it, it, I mean, we could talk spiritual spirituality and spiritual stuff all day. You know, light a candle, pray, uh, manifest. We could talk about that all day. We live in this 3D world where we can touch and feel things, you know. And we got to say to ourselves, the first thing we have to do is save our money. <laughs> That's it. Money is fluid. Money is energy. You give it out, it's definitely going to come back to you. But we have to think on this human form. What can we start doing to create a solid budget? And the best thing I can think of is to start with saving five, ten, twenty dollars, or whatever you can afford. <clears throat> One more, please. Or two. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we have the devil card. The devil is could be anything. The devil stems from smoking to 
everybody and their mother wants to call me now. It, it's littering, negative thoughts, negative feelings. What is the energy that you are putting out there? Who is around you? What are you doing? Is the gossip going on about you or are you a part of the gossip? Like uh, judging, judgment of other people and things like the, of that sort. Like the devil can stem from anything. It could be a negative relationship. You know what I mean? But I can't really talk on this because only you know what your vice is. Only you know what the negative energies are around you. And it's time for you to do something about it. This is They're giving me doubt a lot off this card too. Like you're doubting yourself. You're doubting your creativeness. You're doubting some things. Or maybe you're a talker and not a doer. Like I know I'm this. I, I do it. But you ain't doing nothing about it. That's devil energy too. Um, two of cups, two of cups could be business or a relationship. This is a great card. I love it. Again, of exchanging great energy. You know what I mean? This could be dating. This is all of this is great. Two of cups is great. Again, like I said, in the beginning of this reading, it all starts with you. So it don't matter if you put out good energy, you're going to meet someone good. You know, one, you got to be patient. Everything is in divine timing. Um, and you have to be put together. Even if it's not all the way together, you got to put the pieces together within you before a business relationship comes to you or before a regular relationship comes to you. Just remember that, okay? But the Two of Cups is really good. This is an exchange of energy. This is somebody um, believing in you and giving you um, a pat on the back or telling you you could do it or giving you money or advice, you know what I mean, to start your own business or to start something. It, it doesn't have to be your own business to start something. Or this could be a really um, great start to a new relationship, you know what I mean? <clears throat> bottom of the deck is the Aquarius card which is the star card I love this okay this is protection this is a healing energy card this is you are on your right path but stay balanced see her pouring the water stay balanced okay um four of wands underneath look at that um, and two of wands <clears throat> and again three of pentacles I love it with the six of swords okay I got to go I really got to go, y'all. I got to be out of here by 2 o'clock. It's 140. I'm not even dressed yet. Um, Spirit, what do you want them to know out of this deck? This is my beautiful oracle deck, y'all. Okay. <laughs> what do you want them to know? Spirit, collective, please. I see it. Can I get two more, please? What do you want them to know? Collective, what do you want them to know? Whoever's watching. Right, like your angels and your archangels are watching. They're all working on your behalf. Change is coming. I am here to guide you through this exciting transformation. This is a time of joyous and opportunities. Joyous, oh, joyous opportunities. Joyous, joyous opportunities. I love it. Um, increase your knowledge. Education brings opportunities. Again, what's all of this opportunity on the board, y'all? This is super great. Another message in the meditation is that someone's waiting on like a phone call or email. You are going to get that phone call or email. Eight of Wands, you are going to get it. I need you to either negotiate or compromise. I need you to uh, woosah before the phone call. It's, it's going to be good, but there might be some complications or something that you, it's something, I don't really know. Um, increase your knowledge. Education brings opportunities. Take a course, pick up a book, or find a mentor to teach you what your soul longs to know. Is it time for you to get into something, something creative, something that you need to bring the world? 
um, embrace, somebody needs to sing, write music or sing, play a guitar, play an instrument. That's what they're giving me now. Embrace this magical moment. You are in the perfect energetic space for manifesting miracles. Allow your wishes to be fulfilled. Allow them. Don't put any blocks. Do not stand in your own way. Okay? Work with the energies, y'all. Uh, regain your focus. Trivial life matters are distracting you from your goals. Archangel Metatron and I are here to help you stay grounded. I love that because I just, before the card came out, I mentioned something about Archangel. So they are here to support you, but you have to ground yourself. Go outside, go walk on a piece of grass. <laughs> go touch a tree go in nature go pray outside do what you got to do something about money or change on the floor something about finding a penny pick it up all day have good luck i love that something about finding a dime oh another thing they gave me in a meditation was something about the infinity sign so your numbers may be eight or the infinity sign is your sign um and something about a bracelet or a chain or some type of jewelry that was left to you in some kind of way i'm getting more bracelet but it could be any piece of jewelry that was left to you these that means these messages are for you um and i did get some but i don't want to go into this now because i didn't even really understand it myself when I was in the park meditating, I got like downloads of the collective, the people who are using their gifts are attached to the um, different planets with different ancestral beings. Um, and almost like you're communicating with, I don't want to say aliens, I don't know what to call them, different beings, like communication with different. And my thing is, if it's in love and light, that's the only thing I mess with is love and light. You see the light on my hand? Love and light. That's all I mess with. And if it's in love and light, and if they have messages for us, then you need to bring them to the forefront. You need to let the collective know, okay? But if it's for you, then keep it for you and work with the energies, okay? Make sure you thank them for watching over or whatever they're doing, you know? Um, open up your spiritual gifts. Remember that your true nature is spiritual, not physical. The angels are sending you messages to guide your soul's growth. Wow. Wow, y'all. I love it. All right, I gotta go. I gotta go, gotta go. For the angels. I like my little bell. I just found it. Um... Can you give me a couple, please, for the collective? I don't know if elephants have... I don't know if elephants have something to do. Like, if I, if you love elephants, they just gave me an elephant. Um, here is... And when I see this, I don't know why I think of, like, like, a Muslim symbol. But it's a moon and a star. But that could mean subscribe... And press like to Danny Moon and all the messages. <laughs> Thank you. Shameless plug. But a star and a, and a moon, you know. I love that. Um, here we have one of those Joker clowns. I don't know if that, if you have this, like a pillow or a picture or a book. of. I, I, I hate that you can't see it. It's like natural lighting. So, oh, can you see it? Oh, I'm so sorry if you can't. There we go. There we go. See the clown? Work with your fears if you're scared of clowns in any kind of way, y'all. We got the key. You might have a key on your chain or your keychain or on your necklace. We have a key here. We have a key. What does the key mean to you unlock your heart unlock your key unlock your soul and of course the beacon of light for me this is the cross i love it you might have this as a necklace these messages are for you i also saw in the meditation like a church with a cross on on the top of the church um but that you know if that maybe uh, you on the bus and you see one maybe you live across the street from a church maybe you go to a church that has a church that has a cross on top of it but i did see that i think it was like a white church 
Um, all right. Or oh, like a reddish brown church. I, no more messages, spirit. I really got to go. Thank you so much for listening. Please press subscribe and like. Um, and please come back, come back, come back. I'll probably be back tonight or tomorrow with another video. I don't know who's up next. Might be my Geminis. Um, but we will see. Danny Moon, I'm out. Have a blessed day.